Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about break and continue keywords in python programming so guys these are two important keywords in python loops that is break keyword and the continue keywords basically these are used in the loops in order to carry out certain operations so the break statement is used in order to terminate the loop immediately when it is encountered so whenever we are executing certain code inside the for or the while loop if there is certain condition we can use the break statement in order to come out of the loop and then on the contrary we have the continue statement as well so the continue statement is used to skip the current iteration of the loop and control flow of the program goes to the next iteration so guys let us check both of these keywords with the help of examples over here so let's say first of all we will be using the for loop in order to print the top 10 numbers that is 0 to 9 so let's say we have for x and then we have the in membership operator and then we have the range built in method in order to print the numbers so let's say we have the range of 10 numbers over here after the colon let's say we want to print all these numbers so what we will do is we will simply put print x and in order to get all the numbers on the same line i am going to put end parameter over here and just have the space character over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now So as you can see we are getting the top 10 numbers that is 0 1 2 3 up to 9 over here but guys let's say now there is a requirement that before printing this sixth number we want to come out of the loop and we only want to print from 0 to 5 and if we are required to keep this for statement as it is what we have to do is once we encounter the number 6 inside the for loop we have to come out of the for loop so how that can be done basically we will have the if statement over here so inside this for loop we are having the if statement over here and we are going to check whether this x value is it equal to 6 over here so this is the relational operator that is equal to equal to we are trying to check whether this x variable is it equal to 6 and if it is equal to 6 then we can simply come out of the loop by using the break statement so after the colon over here we will simply put the break keyword so once we put this code over here that is if x equal to 6 we are putting the break statement the control flow will come out of the loop when the x value is equal to 6 so let me just save this file and try running this code now to see what happens so as you can see 0 1 2 3 and then up to 5 numbers are getting printed and once a control flow comes over here next time the value of x will become 6 and it will check whether x is equal to 6 yes in this case and since this condition is true the control flow goes inside the if statement and this break statement is encountered which makes the control flow come out of this for loop over here now similar operation is being carried out when we use the while loop as well so let's say i is equal to 1 over here and let's say we want to print the first 10 numbers once again so what we will do is we will say while we can simply put i less than or equal to 10 over here and then after the colon we can simply have the print function over here and we will print the value of i and then let's say i provide the end parameter as the space character over here so that all the numbers that is the value of i is printed on the same line so let me just save this file and try running this code now so we have entered the infinite loop over here i have just interrupted the printing of the numbers the mistake that we have done is we have not incremented the value of i over here so what we will do is simply we will increment the value of i by i plus 1 over here let me just save this file and try running this code now once again so as you can see 1 to 10 numbers are getting printed now again let's say we want to print only the numbers from 1 to 7 so when the number 8 is encountered we want to come out of the while loop instead of printing the 8 9 10 numbers so we can simply put the if condition over here if i is equal to 8 then what we have to do is we have to use the break statement over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now in this case the top 7 number should get printed and after 8 is encountered the control flow should come out of this while loop over here so i am running this code now so as you can see 1 to 7 is getting printed over here so guys this is the main functionality of the break keyword let us now understand how continue works as you can see the continue statement is used in order to skip the iteration of the loop and the control flow of the program goes to the next iteration let us understand this with the help of example over here we will take the same example that is for i in and then the range that is 0 to 9 over here so over here we will provide the number 10 inside the range built in function so what 
we will do is we will simply print the value of i over here and then we will end it with the space character let me just run this code once so i'll just run this code over here as you can see 0 to 9 is getting printed now guys let's say i don't want this number 5 over here that is being printed in the range 0 to 9 so what we can do is simply i will put a condition over here if this i's value equal to 5 then what we have to do is we don't want to print that number right so after this colon we can simply put the continue keyword so guys what will happen is once the i's value is 5 the control flow comes inside the if condition and the control flow will encounter this continue keyword so what exactly will happen is instead of going to the next statement over here the control flow directly goes back again to the for loop and goes to the next number so next time the i's value will be 6 and this time since this condition will be false it will print this number that is 6 over here so in short what is happening is when the value of i is 5 it will not get printed over here with the help of this print statement so let us check this so i'll save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we are getting 0 1 2 3 4 and then there is no number 5 but after 4 we have 6 directly and then we have 7 8 9 so guys in this way continue keyword works so let's say if i only want to print the even numbers so what will happen is let's say i don't want the odd numbers so how do we check that in the if condition we can simply put i percent 2 is it equal to 1 over here because every odd number if it is divided by 2 it will give us the remainder as 1 and that is what we are checking so all the odd numbers will not be printed but only even numbers will be printed so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see only even numbers between 0 to 9 is getting printed that is 0 2 4 6 and then 8 and guys this is the functionality of the continue keyword that is in order to make the control flow go back to the for loop for the next iteration and guys that is the main functionality of the continue keyword in order to skip the current iteration and go back to the next iteration inside the loop now guys similarly you can use the continue keyword with the while loop as well so that code i'll leave up to you so that you can practice on your own in order to learn more about it so that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is the past statement in the python programming so stay tuned